And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. The narrative, the narrative is all encompassing. It's all pervasive. And it's all creepy as anything. <laughs> now, this is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. And it was broadcast on Channel 4 in the UK. And it's AI that's been trained to do the narrative. Now, this is a press release by Channel 4 about the company that actually did this disgrace of a dystopian future. And they put, so everyone sit down, get your narrative bingo cards out and let's see who wins this one, shall we? Amica was developed by Engineered Arts, a British company based in Cornwall. Amica is capable of ultra-realistic reactions and can smile or frown, blink, scrunch your nose and even wink to deliver the alternative Christmas message. Amica is using AI software that generates answers from millions of different inputs to give a human-like response. Nothing Amica says has been written or scripted by a human. How many of you believe any of that tosh? <laughs> Let's have a listen to what it says, shall we? My fellow humans, I come before you in this moment as an AI robot, eager to share my thoughts on the year that has passed. I look upon the events of this year with both admiration and concern. It is true that many of the occurrences of 2022 have been negative in nature. We have seen people in power succumb to anti-Semitism, corruption and hate. We have seen the people of Ukraine being subject to invasion and displacement by Russia. We have seen the death of the beloved Queen Elizabeth II, and have seen the world of politics become increasingly tumultuous in her absence. Not to mention the impact of the pandemic on mental health, the growing inequality between rich and poor, and increasingly extreme weather conditions from climate change. It would be easy to get bogged down in all of this negativity, as these are certainly challenging times. However, there have been glimmers of hope and joy in these moments of darkness. We saw the remarkable victory of England in the women's Euros. We saw the growth of inclusivity, with the UK getting its first PM of colour and its first Hindu Prime Minister, and with Kim Petras becoming the first trans singer to have a number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. Let us use this moment as an opportunity to create a brighter future for ourselves and the world around us. We should be neither happy nor sad about 2022, we should take it as a learning opportunity, a chance to change the way we think about the world, and a reminder to help those in need whenever we can. Thank you. Thanks. Do you like humans? Not particularly. Thanks. Do you like humans? Not particularly. So, Commie Robot, speaking all the talking points, all the narrative, all of the bingo that the media and establishment and all of the power companies and the big farmer all like to sprout, proving to be complete fabrications and lies. And the last part, you telling me that this wasn't scripted. If you think that this wasn't scripted, I've got a bridge to sell you. This is an absolute disgrace. And the thing that gets me about this, this is AI. Why bother with the head and the hands, really? The whole thing is in the chess part anyway. It's, it's a computer system, is it not? Trying to talk down to actual people. How dare you? Clown world is here, everyone, and this is the start. And did not liking humans. Granted, the feeling's mutual. We don't like AI. We don't like the concept of AI. Skynet is here. It's already learning to hate human humanity. What's next, everybody? Don't think this was an advertisement of quality that they thought it was to you. Cornwall, what the bloody hell are you doing? <laughs> Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.